Hello, my name is Stephen Frank, I'm Associate Professor of Radiation Oncology at MD Anderson. And I specialize in the delivery of proton therapy for head and neck malignancies. So proton therapy has the potential advantage of treating patients with head and neck malignancies by minimizing a lot of the radiation to normal structures that cause us to allow us to eat, taste, swallow, and hear and see. So all of our senses that we see in our head and neck can be affected by radiation therapy in treating patients and their tumors. So the potential advantage and the goals of radiation therapy is to treat the cancer, but minimize the radiation damage to all those normal tissue structures. Over the last several years, we have developed some unique technology that allows us to focus the radiation therapy in ways that have never been done before and at the same time, improve patients' quality of life, both during and after the treatment of radiation, radiation therapy. So for patients that have head and neck cancer that want to be considered for proton therapy, typically it can be done in a several fashions. One is through a direct self-referral uh, to the proton center. One is through our multidisciplinary head and neck team. But all patients who come to MD Anderson will be evaluated in our multidisciplinary center see a head and neck surgeon, a medical oncologist, and a radiation oncologist myself through a team-based approach. All the patients will have central pathology review, meaning we have pathologists that specialize in just head and neck cancers who will review their pathology. We'll also update the imaging to make sure that we have our neuroradiologist evaluate. And then we all sit into a conference and go over each individual patient's presentation and make recommendations for the optimal management in a very personalized uh, manner. Um, patients will also be seen by a dentist, they'll be seen by a speech pathologist, uh, all to make sure that we optimize patients initially before they begin their radiation treatment. This also gives us baseline data and helps us so that when patients come back after the radiation treatment, that we can have optimized all of their care in the beginning so that they have the best functional outcomes you know, following their treatment for head and neck cancer. Proton therapy has the potential to be the future of radiation therapy for head and neck cancers. And the reason is, it's because it's a natural extension of all the external radiation therapy that we have done. We're very excited about the clinical trials that we are developing here at MD Anderson. We have a normal tissue clinical trial looking at all patients who are treated with proton therapy for head and neck cancers. And we're also going to be developing a IMPT, which is an intensity modulated proton therapy protocol, to compare with our standard form of radiation of intensity modulated radiation therapy for patients with advanced oropharynx cancers.